Hey guys, it's me, Missy, with Rustique Relics, and in today's video, we're going to be throwing some paint and possibly transfers on these items. So let's get started. All right, guys, in this video, I just got four easy projects. Um, for the star, it's really simple. I kind of want to brighten it up, so I'm just going to give it a coat of fluff, and then I'm going to come through after it's completely dry and with some fine grit sandpaper and just kind of distress it up a little bit, uh, making sure to hit all of the edges, the the points and everything and just letting the natural detail show through. I sealed it up in wax and then it was just ready to go. It's really simple. I like how it turned out. So for the washboard, the same thing. I'm just gonna give it a coat of the fluff and then what I want to do is add a transfer to that little spot at the top. So I'm gonna let it dry, pick my transfer. I picked these little chickens going to place it where I want it, burnish it in or rub it into the washboard and use the back of the plastic to just kind of burnish it in. Um, I'm going to come through with some fine grit sandpaper and distress it a little bit just to let the natural yellow kind of show through so it has just a little bit of color and then I seal it up with a clear coat too and another project done. I thought it turned out cute. <laughs> I like the chickens. Okay, so for the clock, the first thing I did was uh, use the, the Boss Primer, and I just, it's clear, so I just primed it really good, let it dry, then I came through and put two coats of the Fluff, I think is the color I used on this one, uh, two coats of Fluff on there, and then I'm using the Gel Stain Tobacco Road here. I kind of watered it down because I was going to see... If I just wanted to use it as a glaze, I didn't know how strong I wanted it to be. So I'm just using it as a glaze. And then I'm going to come through with the other colors. They have Spanish Moss, All Natural, and Up in Smoke. And I'm going to just kind of, you know, blotch them everywhere. There's a little bit of green in the center of the clock. So that's where the Spanish Moss comes in. I kind of wanted to bring out that green. And then the Up in Smoke is like a grayish color. So that's your gray and your black that's in the center. And I'm just making sure to get it into the detail and just let it have that dry brush look going all around the clock. And then after all of that is dry, I do come back through with the All Natural to like tone everything down and make my lines softer. And then when that's dry, I come back through with the Tobacco Road again, but it's not watered down and I kind of give it just like an all over top coat of the tobacco road. I'm just trying to bring the colors that's in the face of the clock. I'm just trying to bring those into the outside of the clock. And then one thing that I didn't end up recording was I did distress this again fine grit sandpaper after it was all nice and dry. I just kind of hit the details and the lines that are in the clock. I just distressed those a little bit so that way it has that look that I'm going for I guess is what I'm trying to say <laughs> but it at first I was iffy about it but I kind of like how it, the more I look at it the the more I like how it turned out so you can see I have the paint in the center of the clock and that's really easy I'm just using some glass cleaner and a razor blade and I'm just scraping away all of that paint it's really easy I don't like taping stuff off and um this is the easiest way for me, I think, to not worry about taping it off and making sure that it's perfect, but just using a razor blade and carefully scraping off the excess paint. But I always use a cleaner, so that way it's wet and not dry scraping glass. So after everything is completely dry, I'm going to come through and give it a nice heavy coat of white wax. Um, see, that's where I distressed it, but apparently I didn't record distressing it. So, But I'm just going to give it a good coat of the white wax, and then I let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, before I come through and buff it off. And I feel like that's what really just softened everything up and toned everything down. Um, I, I kind of like how it turned out. It. I don't know if this is originally how I thought I was going to start with it, but this is just how I finished it up. But it looks good to me. 
maybe not for everybody but I it's cool okay so on my last piece it's just a really simple I did prime it in the boss and clear and then I gave it two coats of the vintage duck egg and I sealed it up with a uh, the clear coat um, I just use a little painter's brush here around the edges because I didn't want to touch the handles I wanted to leave them like they already were because I liked that black iron look uh, so I just use a painter's brush and I just carefully go around the handles and give it a paint job there and then like around the edges all I did was just take a paper towel and then just wipe it back so that way it has that clean line and then this piece is done I had a lot of fun doing all these projects let me know down in the comments what you think definitely let me know about that clock <laughs> I don't know I can't I mean I kind of like it I kind of don't like it I kind of feel like I could have went a different way but it is what it is now um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think. Alright guys, so that's my four items. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.